What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Thursday morning to you, and welcome to this devotional series we're doing called Lessons from Peter. Let's dive in. If you're uh, reading ahead, pause. We're turning the page into chapter 5 now. Pause and go read ahead. It's a great chapter, and in it, he has some chunks here. So he, he he's going to address some specific categories. He starts with elders, and then he goes to young people, and then he goes to everyone. It's really, really good. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1. To the elders, I appeal to you as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's sufferings, who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them, not because you must, but because you're willing, as God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. What a great set of verses here. You know, I I wanted you to be careful not to dismiss this little chunk of four scriptures here. As a pastor, I look at this and I think, okay, Todd, pay attention. Uh, He's talking to you. But as I reflected on it, I thought, well, elders are supposed to be the models who are following Christ and the models for everyone else to follow. Almost like Paul said, follow me even as I follow Christ. So I'm like, well, if these are the character traits and the attitudes and the motives of an elder, this is actually the same things that every Christ follower needs to follow, because this is what we're all trying to attain to, right? And so let's start with the idea of just elder. The word elder kind of means overseer, and then of course he uses the idea of watching over people, and then he uses what I think is the greatest metaphor, which is you're a shepherd. If you're an overseer, an elder, you are a shepherd. You are somebody who loves people and and takes incredible joy into like guiding people, loving people, caring for people, serving people. And I do that. I like teaching people the Bible, helping people walk with God, like helping people through the difficult challenges of life. That's a that's a an incredible calling. And so that's the calling to shepherd over people. Now that's what it means to be an elder. But the next few verses, if you notice, he doesn't get into what you do. He gets into how you do it, and why you do it. For an elder, you have to check your heart. That's what he's really saying here, because he gives you three things. The first thing he says is this. If you're going to be a shepherd, you have to do it willingly. Because I think there's a temptation to maybe, as a Christian, feel like you have to do it. And so you end up doing it kind of begrudgingly, or you maybe even like people wear you out after a certain amount of time. As a pastor, always dealing with people, you can maybe get wore out. Now you're doing it resentfully. He goes, no, no, keep that willing heart. And if you ever feel like you're doing it resentfully, you probably need to take a break. You need to take a sabbatical step back because you should love doing this. Um, it, it should be something like, I know I'd love doing this and shoot, I'd do if they didn't even pay me. I'm just glad that they do. And I'm glad to be a part of such a great community of faith. And so do, do it willingly. He said, do it with a, a servant's heart. And he contrasts that with like, you don't do that for greed. You don't do that for like selfish, dishonest gain. Because again, a lot of people have made Christianity look bad because they were in it for the money, not in it just to serve people. And so you have to have a servant's heart. And then thirdly, he goes this, he goes, we model for people, we do not control people or lord it over them. Again, as a, as a shepherd, you have unbelievable influence over people's life. He said, you be careful, you don't take that lightly. That is a big, big, big responsibility of which we will give an account for one day. He goes, so no, you model. And that's what shepherds do. If you ever noticed, um, there's, a, there's an old story about a tour bus driving through Israel and the tour bus guides talking about, oh, Jesus is the good shepherd and the sheep and, the, you know, is given this beautiful thing from kind of Psalms 23 and the book of John and making it all spiritual. And then all of a sudden they see this guy out in the field hitting the sheep <laughs> and they were like, excuse me, is, is, is that what shepherds do? And uh, he said, no, no, that's not the shepherd. That's the, that's the butcher. And so again, we want to be shepherds that guide, that love and that teach and that really kind of model that way, not lording it over people and controlling it. And if you do that, look at this last verse. If you have that kind of motive, that kind of heart, that kind of attitude, he said, when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. There is a reward to this. There's a reward in being a part of people's lives. I think there's a reward in the life to come for it. But I'm going to give you one last challenge here. If you say, Todd, I'm not an elder, but you know, thanks for the nice devotional. What I would say is this. You are equipped to shepherd somebody. I promise you are. You should have the heart of a shepherd. Maybe not over a congregation, but you got to remember you're going to have friends 
family members, coworkers, somebody in your life, they're going to be going through a difficult time and a difficult season of life. And you know what? I want you to love them through it, guide them through it, pray them through it. Maybe, maybe again, if you take on people that are younger than you and they say, hey, I've, I've been through this before and, and if I could just support you and guide you through this and love you through this, I promise the shepherd, the good shepherd lives inside of you. So if you ever find somebody that's going through a difficult season of life, see if you can love them and guide them through that. Church, I love you so much. God bless you and I will see you tomorrow.